Hi everyone, I'm Patrick from Assembly AI and in this tutorial we built an AI powered face restoration app that can restore old photos. So let me quickly demonstrate an example. Here we upload and submit a file and now it will run the model in the background and here we already have the results. So we can see the original image and then the restored image which has a much better quality. And the app is built with Flask and for the model we are going to use Replicate that lets you run open source models with with a cloud API. You can get started for free here. And the model we are going to use is called GFP GAN that you can also find on GitHub. And then you will also learn how to deal with file uploading in Flask. And before we start, I want to give a quick shout out to this very cool website, restorephotos.io. This gave me the idea to this project here. Of course, the UI looks much nicer, but in our case, we learn how to build this yourself and have more flexibility and control over this. But yeah, check this out. Really cool website. And now let's get started. So let's start from scratch in a new folder and implement this together. And the first thing I want to do is create a virtual environment with Python 3-MV and VNV and then I activate this. And now we can pip install our dependencies. So in this case, we need Flask, then Replicate. So this is a Python SDK and Python.env to work with a .env file where we store the uh, API token in a moment. And now let's create two files, a main.py file and another file where we want to run the model. So let's call this, uh, sorry, photo underscore photo underscore restorer dot pi. And let's start with the main.py file where we implement the file uploading. And for this, we can copy and paste a lot of code from the official documentation and use this as our starter. So let's copy this and go over this. So we import the dependencies. Then we define our upload folder. So let's call this static and then images. And we have to create this, of course. So let's create one folder named static and an inner folder that we call images. Then we define the allowed extensions. So this is a set here. And in our case, we allow PNG and JPEG files. Then we create our app and set the configuration with the upload folder key to upload folder. And then we can say if underscore name equals equals underscore main. And then we say app dot run and debug equals true. And then we want to do one more thing, which is good practice to also restrict the maximum content length. So if we also set this configuration to this number, then this is the, the maximum allowed file size is 16 megabytes. And now we have this and so now we need to define our routes. So let's create one function that we call home. And here we return render template. So we want to create a template that we call index.html. And we also have to decorate this, of course. So we decorate this with app.route and we just give this a forward slash. So this is our home page. So now we have this and now we create a new folder that has to be called templates. And in here we create the index.html. So now we have this and now we want one more route to upload the images. So I think we can also copy a lot of code from the official documentation. If we have a look at this part, yeah, we can reuse this and change this only slightly. So first there is a helper function to check if this is a allowed file. So um, basically here we check the file ending and check if this is inside this set. Then we define a new route also at the same address, so the, the home page. But here in this case, we only want a post request. And then we can do some error checking. So for example, we check if we have file in request.files, then you could display an error here. So let me simplify this a little bit and remove the flash statements. 
So if we have the file, then we return redirect to request URL. So basically we return back to the home page to this route. Then if we have the file, then we can extract this and then we can check the file name. And again, if this is empty, then we return redirect. And if we have a file and it is also a allowed file name, then we can get the file name by running secure file name. And then we can save this. So they do it with um, OS path join and call this. But you can also do it differently. So you can say full file name equals and then let's say a dot and then plus and then we can use the URL for and this is the static folder and then we have file name and the file name equals to images and slash and then plus the file name and then we can say file dot save full file name so let's print this here and see if this looks like the correct path and then in this case we want to return render template and then again render the index.html and here as a parameter we want to give it the file name and this is the file name and then of course we have to implement this as well so i already prepared this so let's quickly copy this in here and go over this um, this is just a simple HTML file where we display a H2 heading and then this is ginger syntax. So if we have the file name, then we create a diff where we have a P tag and then the image. And here again, we use this URL for where we check static and then the file name. Then you can also give it a style and then the same with a restored image URL that we have to add in a moment. Then we also have a P tag. And then here in this case, we use this as a link. And then we also displayed the second image. And then we need a form where we uh, submit a file and the action is dot slash. So here we send a post request to the slash route. So then we end up here. And now let's save this and run this and see if this is working. So we say Python main.py. Then we can open this and now we can choose a file. So let's select the file and hit submit. And you see this is displayed. So yeah, this is working. So now the next thing is to do to implement the photo restorer. And for the photo restorer, we use the replicate API. This is also super simple to set up. So let's click on explore models. And here you can have a look at all the available ones. In our case, we click on image restoration and this is the one we want. So GFP GAN. Here you can, for example, see a demo and also click on API. Here are all the instructions you need to follow. So we say pip install replicate. We already did this. Then you need to export the replicate API token. So in our case, I want to store this in a dot env file and then you say replicate api token equals and now here you paste in your token from the dashboard so i will do this and come back in a moment all right so i copied the token and now we can move on and copy this code so this is basically all the code that we need so we import replicate then load the model and the version and then we call the model with these inputs and in our case, we also have to say from dot env we load, um, we import load dot env and then we call this so that we have the API token here. And then let's wrap this in a function. So let's define predict image and this gets the file name. And now let's indent all of this and here we say the inputs and now this gets also the image key 
and uh, sorry, let's make sure this is the correct indentation. And here we open the file name in read binary mode. And then we also define an upscaling factor of two. Then we call the model and print this and return also the output. So this will be a URL. And then in the main.py file, we say from photo restorer, we import predict image. And then down here, we call this. So we say the predicted image URL equals predict image with the full file name. And if we have a look at the index HTML, then we see we called the parameter restored image URL. So let's make sure we use the same name here. And then we pass it the predicted image URL. And now this is all that we need. So now if we reload the page and then again, upload the file, and submit this. Now this will run the model in the background and we get the restored image. And this looks the same that we've seen in the beginning. So this is working. All right, then that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Now you learned how to work with file uploads in Flask and also how to work with the Replicate API. So here, this is a link so we can actually click on this and this leads us to the Replicate delivery URL. And here we can save the image if we want. So now you have your own app where you can restore all your photos. And before I end this video, I want to do a quick plug of our assembly AI playground where you can test all our AI models for free. So for example, you can simply paste in a YouTube link and then click on next. And here, for example, select transcription, summarization, and so on. This is all without a credit card, without an account. So feel free to play around with this. I would be happy if you try it out. And then I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.